created this uh, extension of the string type which allowed us to return the file name and the file extension. Um, this can be used over and over in the, in the next couple of videos. Uh, so in this video, we're going to create a function which is going to read the file and collect all of that data for us. So I've created the structure here for us. Uh, I've created a function called read file. Uh, we're going to input a string um, and it'll also return a string. Okay, so here I have my data variable. Um, I'm calling this function which returns it and I'm going to input the, uh, the txt, uh, input.txt. Okay, so on my desktop, which is the same location where this file, uh, playground file is saved, um, I have my input.txt, which just has the, the words test in there. Uh, but I can manipulate that and put whatever I want in there. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to split the file extension, uh, which I showed you in the last video. We're going to create a new constant called file extension. And this will equal whatever my input file is. Uh, and then we can use that extension that we created before. Okay, again, file name can equal the input file. And then we can split that as well using the file name. Okay, so that's step one. We needed to find out uh, what the file name is and what the extension is. From there, we need to get the file URL. So again, create a constant. Uh, this is going to try. Um, I've explained uh, the try uh, and catching these exceptions in another video. Uh, so you can check that out as well if you're not familiar with it. Okay, so we're going to use our file manager. File manager is the basis for a lot of the file systems within um, Mac OS and iOS. So there's some very useful methods in there which will allow us to uh, find these files for us. So we're going to look inside the user domain. Okay, and appropriate for nil. And if it's not available, then create it. This will stop some of the errors as well. Okay, then I'm going to get the input file and I'll set that to my file URL. Okay, so I'm using this here. Path component. Uh, and my path component is my file name. And then I can append the path extension. And this will be my file extension. Okay, so I've got the file and I've set it to this. So the next thing we need to do is to actually get the data. So create some error handling. Let my saved data. And again, I'm going to use this try keyword. Throw it to a string. Okay, and I'll input that file. And then I can return my saved data. If there is an error, I want to catch that. And I can return the error localized description. Okay, so the file doesn't exist, it will return a, a meaningful error. Okay, so I press my play button to run this. And make sure that it's all running. Uh, so a couple of errors you might have is if your input file is not available. Um, but after running this, it should return that data. So my data is now test. So I found my user directory, um, it used the, that file name extension that we used here, and then I did some error handling to make sure that it returned it correctly, and now I have my data available.